So the number of people that are struggling with depression right now around the world is at an unbelievable all time high. And of course, we know some of the reasons, right? We know the reason of the pandemic and, you know, the death of loved ones and the whole nine yards that have been going on for over a year now. But what is it that we look for when we are talking about the signs of depression? What are the signs of depression? So believe it or not, and by the way, I'm David Essel, uh, 42 years in this industry, counselor, minister, number one best-selling author, master life coach, and more. And when we think about depression, we think about like, there's nothing I can do about it, right? It's in my genes and it's, but what we have found in our work of 42 years is only about 10% of people struggling with deep depression is a genetic related condition. As a matter of fact, the last I checked, which was 30 days ago, we still have not found the gene for depression. Isn't that wild? I mean, we've been searching for the one gene for depression for years now, and we've never found it. And that tells me that so much of it is emotionally related, lifestyle related. We have a course called the Mental Health Solution, and part of that course is going deep into anxiety, depression, PTSD, and more. Today, I'm just gonna focus on depression. One of the major causes of depression, and this is gonna sound strange to so many people, is submerged anger, submerged frustration, submerged resentments at others or ourselves. Now, many times, if we've submerged anger at ourselves, if we feel a lot of guilt and shame, and we've never taken care of it, it turns into anger, sadness, frustration, and it's all interdirected. Some people may say they're depressed because of something that's happened in the family, which can be very true, but most of the time, it's because of a lack of awareness and a lack of self-care. The other thing is, is that depression is such a stigmatizing word. Who wants to say, yes, I feel depressed. I went through an incredible depression that started in the late 80s and ended in 1990 in an attempted suicide attempt. I understand depression and I've devoted my entire life to helping people deal with mental health issues along with a lot of other things. Now, in the mental health relationships that we're talking about, the mental health course, we talk about relationships, we talk about financial struggles, we talk about addiction, because all of these can play a huge role in depression. As a matter of fact, I covered and self-medicated my depression for years with alcohol and drugs. And then I went to sugar to do the same thing. I would love to help you. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, there is a way out. You can join our mental health course which is available at talkdavid.com, one-on-one with me from anywhere in the world. Or we're going to have an upcoming seminar in person. Yeah, we're actually going to do something that has nothing to do with Zoom. (laughs) Imagine that, right? We're going to do it in my office in Fort Myers, Florida. If you want more information just about the group work, just send us an email at talkdavid.com. Say you're interested in the mental health course as a group. And we'll be telling you when we put all that together, okay? Or you can start with me one-on-one right now from wherever you are. The most important message I can give you and how did I shatter my depression was by reaching out and working with a professional. I've been through it. I've done it. I've overcome it. And I'm here to help you. Talkdavid.com. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye now.